Hey there, welcome to Love Them Knives, September 2018 edition of Trader's Corner. This is a video specifically designed for the viewers and come one, come all to go into the comment section and say, I have a XYZ knife and I want to trade it for something like this or that, or I, I want to sell it, or I'm looking to buy something and I can't seem to find it for a reasonable price or I want a used one or whatever. So buy, sell, trade in the comment section, unless you send me a sheet with, uh, you know, an email with a list of knives that you want to buy, sell, or trade, and then I put them right here under the camera. This month, negatory. Nobody sent me anything as far as buy, sell, trade. I'm going to have knives that I want to sell. And uh, Jason Guilfoyle uh, donated some knives for our Project Healing Waters South Florida Fly Fishing. I know it's a long name. It's basically disabled veterans. It's a really nice, it's, an, it's a big national organization. And the South Florida group is a group I'm supporting. This year, we had a fun drive and we raised $920 in actual cash donations. And then he donated these knives. I've sold five of them. I've got four of them left to sell. When they sell, I'm going to lump sum that amount over to, to, the, to the disabled vets group uh, so that he can get recognition for that whole lump sum donation. In any case, I'll show you that later because I have some knives I need to roll over. We've got those four remaining knives that he donated. And I think Wes has one, Mr. Gear Bear, as you see his comments on my uh, channel. So we're going to do that. Uh, so buy, sell, trade. Oh, remember as well, I came up with this last minute idea, which is if you want to buy a Love Them Knives t-shirt, which they are $20 a piece. This one's in XL. I've got some in large, some in XL, and some in 2XL, okay? And so if you buy one of these for $20, I pay the shipping, and I will donate $5 to Project Healing Waters, South Florida, Fly Fishing. Just call it Disabled Vets. Let's just do that. Okay, and they did give shout outs on their Facebook page. I'll give you the link to their Facebook page. They did give shout outs to the guys who went online and donated. And of course, the guys then would give me their proof of donation and they went into the drawing. And I think next year we're probably going to have a table sale of knives where people can donate knives to put on a table sale. We'll sell them all off and donate the money to them next year. Uh, they've had their fly fishing tournament or not tournament, but outing for the vets, which was hugely successful. I think about 30 guys. And they get some disabled vets that came over from another group as well. In any case, that's that group. And then they have other activities throughout the year. But so they're always looking for donations and they were kind of really coming up short this year. Uh, thank God they, you know, I mean, of course you got some corporate donors and stuff, but apparently it doesn't, it doesn't cover. Um, so I've got this just for visual purposes. And as, uh, hold on. Oh, next, check that you're subscribed to my channel if you think you're subscribed to my channel. Apparently, uh, YouTube goes through and does audits and, and unsubscribes people. It just happens. And I guess there's a bug going through unsubscribing people. I've talked to Slicey Dicey and Stasa and other people who are saying this is happening to them. They're losing subscribers. I mean, you will net gain subscribers, but it's weird because I'll look at losses and gains and I might gain 400 but lose 75 in 30 days. And I'm going, I never unsubscribed to channels or I can't remember the last time I did. And so I'm thinking I'm losing some of these just through attrition somehow. So it, you know, it's like maybe a thousand uh, subscribers a year um, for me. And then people who have much bigger channels, I mean, they're losing thousands a month and, the, and they're screaming. So I read the blogs and stuff and it's weird, but just check that because there's people saying, I didn't even know you were having this giveaway. I didn't get a reminder that you posted this video. What's going on? And some people have asked, did you unsubscribe me? Because it shows I'm unsubscribed that I'm not subscribed. And I go, no. So just check that. 
Oh, and that, and then that my rant for the day before we go into um, looking at the knives that I've got for sale and the, and the four other knives that were donated that we need to sell as well. Before I do that, I'm going to uh, do something I promised to do to Leesky Farrell. Uh, he contacted me under the Fura knife video where I did a a video on Fura knives, and let me see if I've got any of kind of give you an idea of what I was talking about these Fura knives that are contoured you know titanium anodized and they have uh well, just satin blades or whatever in any case and they got bearings on the pivot and stuff and I've done that for gear best and then you know they're like a 33 dollar knife and it says d2 and he goes I know if somebody I might have said it in the video how do they do this for 32 bucks it's so nice. Or maybe a commenter said that. But he said, basically, I know how they do it that cheap because it's not really D2 and it's been proven and blah, blah, blah and whatever. He never did give me any links to anybody who's done corrosion and or cutting tests on the Fura knife like this or whatever. But so I came back to him and I said, I couldn't resist, you know, but in any case. And I said, okay, so... And then that really blew him up because he thought I would really defend the D2 or the, you know, whatever the, the, the sellers say that their knives are. Because, let me show you another example. Um, this knife right here says D2 on the back, okay? So here it is on uh, GearBest. It's $13.99. Now, are you going to get American formula of d2 steel for 13.99 I, I you know i don't know and i told him i don't really care the bottom line is i look for a good value i'm looking for budget knives that are a really good value this has got bearings you know it's a liner lock it's you know fury gear has some good knives and some interesting designs and i go i go by the design I don't go by the claim of the blade steel, you know, and I don't really care. And that freaked him out. He's like, you should care. You're saying it's D2 steel. Well, I'm reading that as what the site says. And several times in my reviews, especially when it came to the Nemo knife that was 65 bucks from China saying it was M390 steel. And I had my rant. I mean, it says rant on the... On the title of that video that who knows um it may not be m390 and what i also said which is what i want to say to you i do not buy these knives because the the 18 or 13 dollar to 35 dollar knives i do not buy them because i believe they're d2 steel or that they're s35 vn or whatever i don't do that I buy them because it's an interesting design, and I think regardless of the blade steel, it's good value for the money, the way it, the fit and the finish is. Uh, I mean, it, it is blade steel, okay? It's not tin. It's not some, you know, trash or pot metal. It's an actual blade steel. Whether, God only knows, it's 5CR, 8CR, 9CR, 440, 420, as he suggested in his response to me saying, it doesn't rust like D2. It's probably a stainless. And what I've been able to determine by looking around at different videos is that it's probably more like a 420. And I'm going, okay, for $13.99, that's a hell of a deal. Even for $33 on the titanium one, it's, I mean, you know, nobody's complained about the titanium one. And so I'm just saying, and he said, this is the same with the CH knives, the F and Grau, and what other names or brands they these knives may go under. Well, I think that's a real broad statement that I can't stand behind because the CH knives, Peng, who owns CH knives, I, you know, go on his Instagram, ask him, go on his Facebook, ask him. I'll give you the links to it. His brother is Reich Knives. Reich Knives gets real money for their knives and they have M390 and all this stuff. They do beautiful work. So, and he used to work at Kaiser. So, um, no, I believe that 
this is real D2 steel. Now, prove me wrong. That's fine. And if you do, that's fine. Stasa23 got a YouTube channel of his own. He got a D2 steel bladed CH knife. Not this one. I think it was a small titanium one. The small 3504 titanium in D2. And you know what? He says, I cut with it. And it held up like any American D2 knife I've had. So I think you can't throw them all in the same boat. And F and Grau also rebrands some CH knives and other knives under its brand and sells them as its own. So it's hard to say, but suffice it to say, no. And I've said this before. Number one, it's the wild, wild east. When you start buying these knives off of Amazon, Fast Tech, Gear Best, AliExpress, DH Gate, and they're budget knives. They're 18 bucks, 13 bucks, 35 bucks, whatever. You you know, and it says S35 VN. I mean, some of those little things on Gear Best, you know, the little kind of cleaver flip, saying S30. Is it really? I don't know. And I, I I'm not gonna sit down. It's just a waste of my time to do cutting tests. And certainly I, I don't have the the gun that'll give me the elements. Uh, I, I do know a guy that could do that. And so if you're interested, contact me and we'll send some knives to him and have him test them. He did one and I can't remember what it was, <sighs> um, but it claimed it was M390 and it was like $60, 65. He, he either got it off one of my table sales or AliExpress or something. And he, he said, I tested out as like A2 tool steel or A1. And he was thrilled. He goes, I thought it was going to be like HCR or something, you know, not so good. Because he said, I didn't believe it was M390 to begin with for that price. And so have a jaundice eye. I have a jaundice eye. I take everything with a grain of salt. If, if it's going to be, a you know, a $200, $250 knife, then that's then that's a big problem. And another viewer months and months ago put a put a posting on one of my videos and he said this. He says, the Chinese many times will refer to any type of tool steel that they use as D2. Kind of like we have scotch tape or we have a Kleenex. Well, a Kleenex is actually a tissue. If somebody says, grab me a Kleenex, you know what they're talking about, but you may not have a Kleenex brand Kleenex. You may have something that's Walmart brand or something, but you know what they're talking about. So, and scotch tape is like, no, I don't have any scotch tape in the house, but I've got cellophane tape. So they, they, now, is that really true? And is that just an excuse? I don't know. This, this comment, commenter, seemed like he knew the Chinese lingo and the way they think and do things better than I do. So, okay, and to tell you the truth, I really don't care. This is 5CR. I bought it anyhow. I was just interested in it. I think it was 14 bucks. So no, I'm not gonna send this off to Cedric for a cut test. And no, I'm not gonna, my hair's not gonna catch on fire. Actually, I think they actually said it was 5CR or whatever in their posting. But in any case, so sometimes the blade steel doesn't turn out to be D2. Sometimes they say it's 5CR. This one here is the Honey Badger knife, right? Made in China. It's 8CR. And what did I pay? 33 bucks. Why would I pay 33 bucks for this when I can get D2 titanium Fura knife? Why would I do that? Because it's not about the blade steel. It's about interesting knives that are in the budget brand or that are in the budget, you know, budget that are inexpensive and that are interesting from a design standpoint, whatever. So that's what I'm looking for. If I ever give you the impression that it's God's truth that this is D2 steel, Please call me out on that because I'm not meaning to ever say that. I've, I've ranted about the fact that the knife industry does not have any independent testing labs. And so they don't test the Rockwell. I mean, they don't test the heat treat. They don't test the blade steels on any knives. 
any knives. There is no testing facility. They leave it up to amateurs and enthusiasts to just dribble a little corrosive material on a blade or sit and cut a bunch of hemp rope and go, hmm, you know? <sighs> That's okay. At least that gives you cutting performance. If this does 60 cuts, okay. If this does 120, okay. So, I mean, I don't know. I know one thing. It's a good beater knife. You know, you can go around and use it and cut with it. And these beater knives that I have, I'll use them for four or five months before I even need to sharpen them. Because I don't, I don't make a living with a pocket knife, okay? I don't make a living with a knife, period. But I mean, if you're making a living with a knife using a fixed blade, you're meat processing, you're a chef, you're pruning uh, grapevines, you're doing, you know, your uh, professional hunting guide, but you're using a fixed blade, these are not the primary source of anybody making a living. Okay, so in any case, there are specialty knives, there are box cutter blades that people use in, you know, to stock shelves and stuff. They ain't using these knives. So, uh, <laughs> but do I believe this is D2? I believe that. Now, like Nick Shabazz says, it's a matter of faith, isn't it? So prove me wrong, that's fine. More than happy to uh, give you the contact information on the guy on the East Coast, I think in in Pitts, in uh, in Pennsylvania, that says he has access to the gun, so he's not going to have to cut off a piece of your knife, but he can shoot it with the gun, and it'll give the elements. It won't come up with a reading that says D2 or S35VN, but it'll give him the elements, and then you compare that on a chart to the elements of other knife steels, which you can get online, and then you'll know or you'll have a good idea at least. I don't get them because it says M390. I don't get them because it says D2. I don't. If, if this was if this was 9CR18, I'd still pay 35 bucks for it. If it was 8CR13, I'd still pay 35 bucks for it. Now maybe you wouldn't. And especially since I think he's telling the truth about this, that makes this unusually really good buy because that some of the best I've seen is the Tuya knife, and this is under 50 bucks, and this is D2, and yes, I believe this is D2. Of course, it's made in China too, <laughs> whatever. I'm sorry, there's just no end to the skepticism, but I, 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 I was kind of cavalier when I said, who cares? And the reason was I thought there was another agenda there. I thought, basically, and it came out, well, CH, F and Grau, Fura, and whatever other brands. And I think what basically it was Chinese, you know, so Chinese, they're liars, blah, 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 deceivers, whatever. And my job, my job, don't forget this, my job is to be a professional, reliable source of information. Wrong. <laughs> I mean, anybody who's been watching my channel for any period of time goes, Dude, yes, that pocket clip is reversible. Dude, no, that's not G10 on the backspacer. That's real carbon fiber. Dude, these are not ceramic bearings. They're steel bearings in this thing. Dude, I mean, do I make mistakes? All the time. And, you know, I've caught Blade HQ and everybody else giving wrong data on their sites too. So we make mistakes. So do not ever buy something because... I am gospel. I'm not gospel. I'm an enthusiast that turns the camera on. I am not. It's like I'm supposed to be some kind of licensed engineering person with a college degree in pocket knives or something. I'm not. I'm an enthusiast. I turn the camera on. I was bored. Okay. I went through cancer, got all the crap and got pushed into, uh, you know, disability retirement and needed something to do with my spare time and my son says do something that you like open a youtube channel or something talk about knives you like knives so i did so here i am i mean i am not an expert i am not uh, certified or licensed in any of these fields i look at knives i go oh man this is a cool knife Hmm, I do research. It's a Vitesse design. It's Tucson TS80. Wow, contoured titanium. I mean, I can I can look at the knife and tell you about the knife that you can see as I look at it 
whether this is pure carbon fiber here or a laminated G10 carbon fiber, I don't know. Do I care? Absolutely not. I really don't. I know that may shock people. I don't. This knife has ceramic bearings. I know because I took it apart, but oh, man, it, it's a great knife for 80 bucks. The 80 bucks that I traded it for because you know, uh, whoever got it said they bought it for 80 and then I traded them something worth 80 and got it. And I think it's a great knife. Now, is it titanium? Well, send it off and get it anodized. I know one thing, it's not magnetic. And if these things couldn't be anode, then you wouldn't see so many pimped ones online for sale. So, I mean, it's just, use your common sense and your good judgment. And yes, 8CR, 5CR, D2, God only knows mystery metal. And going forward, to not confuse you, I will do the these kinds of knives where, I mean, I, I mean, I don't have necessarily know any of these to be true. I mean, this is a Berg Blades made by Wee Knives, S35VN supposedly. Is it really? Well, pfft. you know, yes, I believe that. So I'll tell you when I believe that it is, but I can't, I can't certify that. There's no testing facilities. Uh, nobody has actually given me a mill sheet with, you know, and shown me the transport of the actual steel from the mill to their place and video of it being converted into this knife. So, no, it is a matter of faith. So, don't buy these budget brand Chinese made knives thinking that it's D2 if they say it's D2 on their site. It may not be. It doesn't mean it's not a good buy. I'm sorry, in the future I'll say D2 and or, and you fill in the blank. But it's $13.99. Is it a hell of a knife? For $13.99, it's gas station price. You know, so for 35 bucks, whatever this is, it cuts great and it functions awesome. It's put together well, fit and finish is awesome. I didn't waste my 35 bucks. See, my rant, I told you I was going to do a rant. So that's my response to Leesky Farrell. And you can look at that. It was on my uh, Fura knife review where I was reviewing, you know, this kind of knife. So if you can look that up. Because uh, I left the comments there and he's just like, you're misleading people. And sometimes you get these knives for free. And then you turn around and sell them on a table sale. So you're profiting from this. <laughs> it's... Uh, I'm, you know, I'm, yeah, I mean, I understand, but I have to laugh. I'm sorry. I do have a full return policy for any knife that you're unhappy with. I mean, I should limit it, I guess. I mean, I don't want these coming out of the woodwork like a year later, but you know, nobody returns a knife. Everybody's like, oh, got the knife. Oh man, thank you so much. It was great. I love it. Whatever. So I I really haven't had anybody bitch and moan. Uh, so no, I will try in the future to be more direct about, mm, says D2. Dude, I don't know. Okay. Didn't buy it. And I tell people on some of these, I didn't buy it because it said D2. Oh, um, another thing. Next, mass drop. Here's a link I'm going to give you to the Ferrum Forge Dow. That's out for a drop. I don't know when that's going to end. So it may have already. But great idea is to get a mass drop account. You can click on this link and establish an account anyhow. And it helps me because if you open a mass drop account with my link, then I get credit for a new member of Mass Drop. And if you actually buy a knife that they deliver to you, then I get uh, maybe like a $10 credit on my next knife. So it helps me out with my expense of buying Mass Drop knives, which I do when it comes to the Ferrum Forge, you know, the Terzuola, the, you know, all these different ones that are, you know, the Schwartz knife, the Perpetua. Different knives, really fascinating, and that's what I get a mass drop account for. So, and it's good for a lot of other things. Sometimes you can pick up some knives pretty inexpensive that are regular production knives that you can buy off of normal sites, but the mass drop one is a cheaper price. So, think about that also. Uh, remember, White Mountain Knives, 
click on the link I give you. 10% discount code is LTK, okay? That's for any and all knives on his site, okay? Any and all knives. Anytime, use as often as you want. No expiration date on that. So, there you go. And let me see what else. Uh, oh, remember my buddy, Dave Warren at Two You Knives? There's his uh, link to his website. VIP5 is $5 off of any knife, which of course are great, great knives. And of course, you know, I love my Two You Knife Bruiser, which is a great deal, D2. These are really wonderful, but the titanium knives are awesome. In any case, uh, knife sharpening service, Kevin Lewis Jr., bevel knife sharpening. Seems like more and more people are now starting to use him to sharpen their knives. I do. I don't have to, I don't have the all the strokes and emulsions and everything to put a mirror edge. And if I have a more expensive knife that I want to put a mirror edge on, I send it to him. If it's just a beater knife, I just want it to cut paper, uh, get that sharp. I've got enough to do it on my own KME. So, but in any case, so remember him. And then we're going to do, here's my list. I'll put it at the top of the comment section and also in the description section, the list of knives that I have for sale, that I want to sell, and I want to sell them. <laughs> I need money. Ooh, my gums are still hurting from my last visit to the dentist. He tore me up, but... <sighs> Next page. Um, and these knives here, the continuation of my list, and then Jason Gilfoyle knives, Project Healing Water, Fly Fisherman, South Florida, blah, blah, blah. Here's some knives that he uh, has not, we have not sold yet. Okay, he donated, we have not sold. I marked them, <laughs> I lowered the price. I lowered the price. So here we go. And if you're interested in these knives, and I'll show them to you at the very end, I'll bring you out to the table and show you the knives that are laying out there. But in any case, if you're interested in any of these knives, and you think uh, the price is just a little high or I'd put in an offer or something, make me an offer. I want these sold. I want the money to go to the disabled vets. Okay? So we did that. And here's the sold knives. I mean, he we sold one, two, three, four, five of those knives for a total of 388 bucks. So we got 388 bucks. I paid the shipping. That's out of my pocket. Screw it. It's a donation. So we got 388 bucks. We got to sell the other four. And if we sell the other four, hell, we might have uh, 600 bucks or so. Yeah. So somewhere between six and 700 bucks total to add to the 920. That's 1700, 1600, somewhere in there. Any case, all right, we're going to go on to the knives on the table that we have for sale. Okay, this is the part of our Trader's Corner for September 2018 where I show you the knives that I've got for sale, for sale only, especially, you know, these knives that Jason has donated to the disabled vets. Okay, these are the four. So let me just start with them. What the hell? But it's uh, number 11 through 14, but this is a uh, battle box exclusive by sniper blade works and it's 1095 steel and it's a like a coated bronze coated steel with a carbon fiber inlay here backspacer i don't know much about it but i know they want about 200 bucks for it so uh it's got thumb studs it's a cool knife comes in the pouch 170 bucks or Make me an offer. I mean, we got to sell these knives. We need to get the money to the disabled vets and he's willing to let me dicker on these. So there you go. And so another battle uh, box is the BattleTac Double Lock Karambit D2 Steel. Okay, uh, G10. Uh, yeah, G10 and D2. In any case, there you go. Boom, it's a lock back. It's really cool. Looks like right or left hand pocket clip. There you go. That was like 120 bucks on their site. 109 or best offer. 
Another thing, Browse Tyrant, gold scales, D2. Big, long, 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 long blade, big, big knife, very big knife. They say made in the USA, or at least you can look it up because I think that's what they're saying. Aluminum, D2 steel blade, comes in the box with all the stuff, 145 bucks. I think they're like 160, 170, whatever. And I don't even think you can get this color anymore. Um, make offer. Uh, the rake, P831SF. So this is a little um, knife that I find it difficult to open. Back, <laughs> the rake, 831. I'm, I'm just crushing that lock bar and I can't get the damn thing open. But in any case, get your fingers away from the lock bar. You can open it in any case, 30 bucks for that. Now let's go to the top of the LTK. Gosh, forbid me, but I got to get rid of them and come up with some money. The Green Thorn brand jeans. I know this is a knockoff of the Sheer Gorov, whatever that he did. A limited number of these for like twenty-one hundred bucks a piece. M three ninety supposedly. Are we gonna go down that road again? In any case, it cost me two hundred thirty-five bucks. And I opened it up, and it's got multi-row ceramic bearings that are not captured. I mean, they are. I mean, it's just incredible. I had a guy say it's just like the real one in the way that the bearings are done. And it's probably the nicest knife on this table. I mean, I hate to say that, but I mean, he was saying it's the nicest knife I own when I got it. And that's why I got it. I wasn't going to review it on my channel, but I got it just because I was curious. But I, I just don't have room for it in my budget. Um, Master Op Prison Blue. Okay, it's brand. It's in the sealed pouch. Okay, so there you go. I hit the thing twice, so I got two of them when I only wanted one. Two hundred forty bucks. The Master Op Buck. This is bronze with blue. I got it so I could review it, and a guy wanted it, but he wanted to pay me what I paid for it. 114 bucks and I go I mean everybody else is listing theirs at more than 114 I, I you know I've got to pay shipping as well and make maybe a couple of bucks so 145 bucks there you go for the buck bucks for the buck okay and so we've got this one left from Wes that's it this is his last one this is the assassin the Max Ace Dreamer assassin in the pouch Basically brand new, 225 bucks. That's way cheap. And the Real Steel Crusader, the 3701, 14 c 28 and steel, Poltergeist Works design, steel frame lock. It's on washers. And uh, let me see if I can flick it. Yeah, you can flick it open. This thumb stud is reversible. Too bad they didn't do it on both sides, but it's reversible so you can finger flick it just like that. Big knife, cool knife, especially for 55 bucks. Browse, Hoback, Kauai back. I traded, or I think I bought this from Scott from Hawaii. So in any case, in any case, I got it. I was going to hold it for 155. I will agree to sell it though. But that's it. If I don't get 155, forget about it. In any case, there it is. Aluminum D2, made in the USA, supposedly, like the Tyrant over there. Then we've got the Width Armor Fixed Blade Mammoth G10 440C Steel. So they say, <laughs> you know, here we go. In any case, it is what it is. They sell them for 69 bucks online. This has got the, the sheath, the box, everything, 49 bucks. Of course, our horns, knife and tool, little bone handle, you know, 12C27 knife with leather sheath, 45 bucks shipped. And not least, but it is last, the San Ranmu, 7096 for 17 bucks. And I believe this is 12C27 as well. That's what this little knife is. Comes in this box. I don't think I've posted my review on this yet, but I will soon. All right. That's it for the knives. That's it for Trader's Corner. 
go into the bottom, do your buy, sell trades. Thank you so much. Email me. I will put my email address, lo lovethemknives at gmail.com to contact me if you want to buy a knife. Let me know. And I will mark them sold as they sell. All right. You know what we do? We love them knives. So you guys stay sharp.